Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. This is Rohit from Informatica GCS and today we are going to discuss about data onboarding rules in Axon. So before proceeding further, let's see the agenda of today's video. So firstly, we will discuss about whatever we have discussed in the first part of this video. Thereafter, we will see how to certify assets in EDC and get it onboarded into Axon. And then we will see how to onboard Lineage into Axon and its prerequisites, followed by a quick demo. In our previous video, we have discussed about the rules driven onboarding and the examples of data onboarding rules which contains context as parent type and path and regular expression. Now we will discuss how to certify assets in EDC. We can certify an asset to endorse the asset so that the other users can use the asset as a trustworthy one over the assets that are not certified. Certifying the asset indicates the reliability of the asset in catalog. The data owner, data steward and subject matter expert can certify and decertify the asset. We can certify data assets such as tables, views, files, columns, synonyms and reports. To certify the asset, ensure that you have read and write permissions for domain users resource in the catalog administrator. From the overview tab of an asset, open the menu and select certify asset. The certify asset dialog box appears. When you certify an asset with a tag and search for the tag, the certified asset appears at the top of the search results in the search results page. Once the changes are saved, Catalog displays the certified icon under the asset name in the overview tab next to the asset name in the search result page. Alternatively, you can perform this task using REST APIs as well. And now we will see how to onboard Lineage into Axon and its prerequisites. In Axon, we can choose to automatically create links between attributes based on recommendations from the Enterprise Data Catalog. We need not to manually review the relationship recommendations and curate the attributes for each dataset. We can view lineage recommendations for single and multi-hop relationships between physical fields in EDC. Physical fields must be directly connected to each other in EDC and the attributes that are available in Axon must be associated with the physical fields. Once the physical field is linked to an Axon attribute, run the Axon scanner to discover the attribute relationships. And in case of default change request system is configured for datasets, the onboarding of attributes initiate a change request workflow. And once the change request is completed, run the Axon scanner followed by onboarder script to onboard the attribute to attribute relationships and lineage recommendations. Now we will see a quick demo. I have logged into my EDC catalog UI and these are my assets which are going to onboard into Axon. And as we can see, we, we do have a lineage between these assets and we will see how to certify these assets in EDC. We will certify customer ID and customer ID under these two tables and get it onboarded into Axon. So before we certify the asset, I will add myself as a data steward so that I will be able to certify the asset. Now here I have an option to certify an asset and as I said earlier we can add a comment or a tax accordingly. Now the asset has been certified and as we can see there is a badge icon which was added over here. Similarly we will certify the other asset as well. Now both the assets are being certified. Now we will go back to Axon and create an onboarding rule and then get it onboarded into Axon. This is my Axon UI. Here I have created two sample rules which contains parent as a context and uh, the additional criteria is the object needs to be certified. As we can see I am using parent as my context and uh, regular expression as my table and here uh, I have chosen an additional criteria that is marked as a certified object and similarly for my another uh, onboarding rule as well. Now here are my two EDC resources which are linked with two Axon systems and currently in these two Axon systems there were no data sets created yet. So now we will execute the onboard script and our expectation is it should create one data set each under each uh, system and the lineage will also get onboarded. Now we will go back to Axon server and run the onboarding script. 
I have connected to my Axon server and this is the location where we can execute the onboarder script. So here we have a script called onboard underscore sh dot sh. So we have just executed the onboarder script. So this script will create a data sets attributes and attribute to EDC links followed by attribute cross attribute relationships. Now as we can see that the onboarding script execution has been completed and we can go back to Axon UI and validate if our assets are created or not. I will refresh my system page over here so that a data set and a attribute will be created. Yeah. So as we can see there is one data set and one attribute which was created. Similarly we will refresh our page in system 2 as well. Here also we can see there is one data set created and one attribute. Now we will go back to this data set and see whether our lineage has been established or not. As we can see the lineage got established and then we can apply our overlay linking attribute so that we will be able to view what are all the attributes that are linked to each other. And this is the lineage which is available in my EDC as well. This is all about data onboarding rules in Axon. And in case of any further queries or any suggestions or a feedback, please contact us using these two links and thank you for watching the video.